You ever wonder why we put turbos in the bed? Check out this video. Hi y'all. Thanks for coming back and seeing us again. Um, we wanted to talk today about rear mount turbos. We didn't always have them in the rear. We did have them in the front when we first started this whole project. Um, 417 Motorsports built us beautiful setup up front, uh, radiator, um, all kinds of stuff. He made, it was beautiful up front. But we had trouble with getting the truck down the track. Most of it was because we were too heavy in the front. So that's whenever we decided to change it up and move them to the back, mostly for the weight. So we, we struggled with the setup. We struggled with the four link setup. We struggled a lot with it. And every time I put a good tune up in it, the truck ran good. It just couldn't get down the surfaces that we were trying to get down back on the no prep stuff. We're talking five, six years ago yeah. uh, on the street. And if the track wasn't really, really good, we had trouble getting down. And so finally put the truck on scales and to see where had we no at. idea where it was at. We knew the truck was heavy it's, you know, 35, 3,600 pounds back then. It's not quite that heavy now, but mm -hmm. it was like 62 and a half percent on the nose. Front. So that is a no, no in anything, especially with a truck. I mean, a truck this, is so lightweight in the back. You can't have that much weight in the front. You never get traction. We had a lot of people saying that turbos in the bed would never work. Mm -hmm. Turbos in the back would never work. So we just started kind of experimenting and I moved them from the front, even though I hated to take what Blake did apart. Like yeah. Tina said, it was so awesome. But we mounted them back here and immediately everything started working a lot like better. it should. Yeah. So we just kind of stuck with it. We've kind of figured out how to make it spool up. And for those saying about the turbo lag, if we were just driving down the road and mash the throttle down, it, it would, uh, there is some lag, but we don't deal with any lag because we spool them up, spool the turbos before mm -hmm. she even leaves the starting yeah. line. We, PTC has worked with us with converters. Yes. And we have worked with our MS3 program and did a lot of tuning strategies and stuff. So we've got the thing working like really good. I'm sure you guys mm -hmm. have seen the videos. Yeah. So. And the same setup is on David's truck too. So we have both setups the same for both vehicles. Now, David has a slightly different setup, I guess, for not the turbos, but for the intercooler. He's got an intercooler, which I don't. But that's probably going to change also we're going to set them up to be identical that way if something happens and for some reason one of the trucks is down at least we can pull it off the other truck <laughs> if there's a big race to get to so we will have the exact same setup for both vehicles this year the differences between her truck and my truck i've got an lsx block her truck this year carter's built us a stock block setup mm -hmm. we've got the same turbos one of the biggest differences in her truck, the length of the wheelbase. My truck's a regular cab, hers is a extended cab, mm -hmm. so that comes into play a lot too. I know with moving weight around in my truck, it seems to come around pretty quick, the changes. So I know what my truck will do, I know what this truck will do. So this year, we're gonna have a lot of fun with the setup. We just wanna make a video. We have a lot of people asking why the rear mount turbos? That's a question we get anytime we do anything, even when we're out racing some more. Why do you have turbos in the bed and not in the front? So that's a little bit of what or why we have them in the back instead of in the front is a weight. A weight we, issue is really bad in a truck compared to a car, but so this helps us out quite a bit being in the rear. We know that the turbos are not as efficient in the back versus in the front. We, we get Correct. that. But neither is not being able to get down a surface. So that's why we do it. We have to, a couple things we do have to do is use an oil pump to return the oil back up front, mm -hmm. which is not a big deal. Uh, we just run the oil straight into the pump and 
it works great. Works great on my truck, works great on her truck. We've been doing this now for three years. Mm, probably three or four years. Four years. years. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I hope that clears some issues up. Yep. And uh, so we'll talk about the, uh, the new little project over here. It's also got a turbo in the back. So. A little fun little truck, but we'll get to that another time. So make sure you guys subscribe to Tina Pierce on the YouTube channel and click that subscribe button. Thank you guys.